Sports Business Journal predicts that NBC and Fox will retain rights for NASCAR coverage. Plus, we look at NASCAR's tentative schedule and engine packages for next season. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, the Sports Business Journal has predicted that NBC and Fox will retain coverage rights or broadcast rights for the upcoming uh, next uh, TV deal or whatever you want to call it for NASCAR. And they've also gone on to predict that some of those races will be put on the Peacock by NBC, which means that there might be a paywall for some NASCAR races going forward. Of course, I would like to reiterate, this is just a prediction from the Sports Business Journal, but let's take a look at what that had to say real quick. John Orand is the author of the piece, and it starts off by saying, cord cutting is up, ad sales are down, and layoffs are looming. Next year is set to be a gloomy year in sports media but the business will still see a lot of activity. This is how I see 2023 shaking out. He then goes on to predict every other sport, but then he gets down here to NASCAR, and it says NASCAR renews with Fox and NBC. Digital media companies have engaged NASCAR about its rights, but circuit executives will decide that a digital deal would put too much pressure on team sponsors that need the biggest audience available. This will remain a broadcast heavy deal, but expect NBC to win the right to put a number of races exclusively on its Peacock streaming service. So there you go. That is what John Oren thinks. I would like to reiterate once again that this, this is just his prediction. This is not actual news, but I would like to also point out that Sports Business Journal is usually pretty accurate with its predictions, and it usually doesn't just throw stuff out there without having some type of merit to it. So there is a good chance that he has heard something, and he is probably hearing that they are leaning in this direction, but it is a, just a prediction. But let's take it and just extrapolate in case it is true. If NBC puts races on the Peacock, I hope that they are free. That is the first thing that I hope there, because if they put it behind a paywall, that will be probably, most likely, uh, the death knell for those races. They will probably be the lowest rated, the least watched races, because I do not see people paying a ton of money, or not a ton of money, but I don't see people going and getting a subscription just to watch three or four races. You know what I mean? So if they do put it on Peacock streaming just to sort of test out the waters or whatever, see, see what's going on with that, they better make it free because if they put it behind a paywall, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think a whole lot of people are going to be watching, probably including myself. I'll just catch it on uh, MRN on the radio while I'm driving and doing something else that day. So hopefully uh, they do not put it behind a paywall and I'm just going to leave it at that. And, and also, you know, one more time, it's just a prediction, uh, nothing official yet. In more good news today, NASCAR released its tentative Daytona schedule and it has absolutely no practice before the duels at Daytona. So I thought that was also just not a good thing. I do think that with a with with some drivers that have never seen drafting or anything like that, like Elio Castroneves and some other guys that are going to attempt the Daytona 500, they don't have any drafting practice. I think before the duels they should have at least one practice session because if you look further down the line, there are other practice days for the cup teams, but just no practice before the dual qualifying races. So I think that is a mistake on NASCAR's part. They need to give these guys at least 30 minutes to an hour of practice so they can get used to drafting, get used to the draft with this type of car, and see what they've got for the duels because I don't want it to turn into a wreck fest. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen uh, to a duel race is that it turns into a wreck fest and you don't get that drama of who's going to make it in, who's not going to make it in because all the people who are going to make it in or whatever have just already wrecked out or whatever, something like that. So hopefully NASCAR comes to its senses and gives them practice before the duels. Once again, this is a tentative schedule, so NASCAR could at any point change it. <sighs> but here we go again. Of course, that, that tweet was from uh, Bob Pockris, and also from Bob Pockris, NASCAR has released its engine packages and other packages or whatever for the uh, season next year. So let's take a look at that real quick. 
NASCAR updated the rule book with 2023 packages. Still possible tweaks to the short track road course aero rules depending on a possible January test. Six cars, two per manufacturer, wet weather for short tracks, question mark. Won't race rain or soaked track, just damp, in my humble opinion. Only big impact is New Hampshire Motor Speedway because it has no lights. And you look down there and you see the short tracks get a wet weather package. And you also see that every single race except for the super speedways get, well, that 670 engine package. And that is disappointing because we know for a fact that the short track races did not put on a great show this season. So hopefully they can get in there and fix that and make that better for us fans so we can watch the drivers, you know, drive short tracks like we're used to seeing them drive short tracks. Like you said, there is a test in January, so hopefully they get everything ironed out in January and they get a better package for the road courses and for the short tracks so that they are able to pass going forward. Once again, that is also tentative. So if they find something in that uh, test in January, hopefully they will implement that onto the short track cars. All right, I wish there was a silver lining, but so far today, all bummer news, unfortunately. Hope your Monday goes a little bit better, uh, but that's all I got for you on this one. If you made it this far, feel free to subscribe down below. I really appreciate all your subscription. It, uh, it helps the channel grow, and if you're already subscribed, you know I appreciate you guys as well. And if you got a question, comment, or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section. I try to get to as many of them as I can, if not all of them. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.